Hi everyone. Hope you all fine there. I am also fine here. Today we will see five more current affairs, which will be easy for you to revise and recollect during this pandemic time. Also, I am introducing a new segment like finding the meaning of one of the thousand three hundred and thirty verses of the world's greatest Gurukul. So first one is. கேடில் விழுச்செல்வம் மாந்தர் ஒருவருக்கு மாடல்ல மற்ற அவை ஸோ ட்ரை டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் த மீனிங் ஃபார் திஸ் ஐ வில் டிஸ்பிளே த இங்கிலீஷ் பர்சன் டுமாரோ லெட்ஸ் கோ த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ஃபுட் சேஃப்டி மித்ரா ஸ்கீம் இட் கம்ஸ் அண்டர் மினிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் ஃபேமிலி வெல்ஃபேர் ஆல்வேஸ் ஃபுட் சேஃப்டி கம்ஸ் அண்டர் மினிஸ்ட்ரி ஆஃப் ஹெல்த் அண்ட் ஃபேமிலி வெல்ஃபேர் ஸோ இட் சப்போர்ட் இட் இஸ் அ ஸ்கீம் டு சப்போர்ட் ஸ்மால் அண்ட் மீடியம் ஸ்கேல் ஃபுட் பிஸ்னஸஸ் விச் கம்ப்ளைஸ் வித் த ஃபுட் சே஫்டி லாஸ் அண்ட் இந்தியா ஸோ இட் வில் ஃபெசிலிட்டேட் லைசன்சிங் அண்ட் ரெஜிஸ்ட்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் தோஸ் ஆஃப் தோஸ் food business organizations hygiene ratings and training and certification will be given by uh, guidelines issued by fssai that is food safety and standards authority of india which is an autonomous body and our ministry of health and family welfare and it is uh, formed through an act that is food safety and standards act 2006 already punjab government has issued hygiene ratings for online food business organization the scope of food mitra scheme will be creating new employment opportunities for youth and particularly with the food and nutrition background in their degrees and the food food safety mitras will undergo training and certification by food safe ssai and we all we have introduced this food safety mitra scheme on october 16 which is considered as World Food Day the theme for 2019 is healthy diet for a zero hunger world which is one of a sustainable development goal 2030 also it is a part of fit india movement along with the food mitra scheme eat right india movement is also launched so next is wasteland atlas 2019 don't confuse it with global wasteland outlook which is released by unccd okay so this one wasteland atlas in 2019 in india is released by ministry of rural development it is a collaborative work of department of land resources and national remote sensing center which comes under department of space it is a fifth edition earlier four editions have been released at various point of time it provides district and state wise distribution of different categories of wastelands area because we have to find out the wastelands from the grassroots level that's why a uh, ministry of rural development is releasing this also changes in the wastelands use is also presented in this atlas so what is the definition of wastelands so it is given by integrated wasteland development program of india as wastelands are unprotected non forest lands which suffered the maximum degradation mainly due to the tremendous bio- biotic pressure on it so it can be can be used in gs main sensor rating so wastelands are nothing but the degraded land which can regain their original position what are all considered as uh, wastelands means dense scrub waterlogged and marshy lands sandy areas degraded pastures or grazing land gullied and uh, ra- which are in dire need of rejuvenation these lands can be used for again cultivable purpose or for any other purposes like industries so the key points are 1.45 mega hectare of wastelands converted into non wastelands categories so net conversion 0.26% just make note of all the data so if you remember you can write in mains answer writing or uh, these points can be remembered for if they ask in terms of data in prelims question okay so the positive changes are seen in these states make a note of it use maps for studying these states because if you see the map you won't forget them so rajasthan bihar uttar pradesh andhra pradesh madhya pradesh mizoram jammu and kashmir and west bengal i have given in the descending order also um this this is one of the goal of india recently declared in new delhi where the unccd convention was held for the first time there our pm modi have given an ambitious target of recovering or restoring 26 million hectares of degraded land into a purposeful land so next one is new unlawful activities prevention amendment act which was done in august 2019 it comes under ministry of home affairs okay so it is an amendment to uapa act 1967 what is given in new amendments means it empowers the government to designate individuals as terrorist on the same grounds which was given in the earlier uapa act 1967 so as a result of this recently 
in september 2019 and in july 2020 first july 1920 na uh, totally 13 persons or individuals have been designated as terrorist based on the categories given in the earlier provisions okay so approval for the seizure of the property by national investigation agency will be done if the investigation is done by directorate officer of directorate general of nia also it empowers nia national investigation agency the rank of inspector or about to investigate the cases and already there are nine treaties now another one treaty is added as per the new amendments in uapa 1967 so what are the earlier provisions while we are studying about new amendments we have to study about the earlier provisions for comparing it what has been the change okay so these are the criteria for designating an organization as a terrorist organization as well as this is applied to individuals also who are considered as a terrorist as per the new amendment of uapa 1967 so commits or participates in acts of terrorism prepares for terrorism promotes terrorism or otherwise involved in terrorism so as per this provisions only uh, in september 2019 and in uh, july 2020 totally 13 13 individuals have been designated as terrorist because like uh, daud ibrahim and uh, ranjit singh paramjit singh who are all involved in terrorist activities across the border or in foreign soil okay so other provisions are regarding seizure of property investigating officer so you can see you can read about the provisions so earlier investigation officer is required to obtain the prior approval of the directorate general of police to seize properties now if it is conducted by nia directorate general of nia has to give permission so investigation officers can be of the rank of a deputy that is da uh, deputy superintendent of police dsp or assistant commissioner asp or above now even the rank of the inspector can also involve so as i have told already one of the treaty like convention on uh, suppression of uh, acts to nuclear terrorism 2005 has been added as per the new amendment to uapa 1967 already there were nine treaties uh, like convention on suppression of terrorist bombings and against uh, taking of hostages okay make note so make note of it next one is dg sky digital sky that is nothing but it comes under ministry of civil aviation it is an online portal for registration and flying of civil drones in india because nowadays we are using drones for political and social development so we have to maintain social safety and security for the public that is responsible use of drones is needed nowadays so the ministry of civil aviation has given regulations that is civil aviation regulations which was published in 2018 that is version 1.0 now another version 2.0 has been released so to create a paperless digital process and to provide on demand seamless permissions for unmanned aircraft systems or remotely piloted aircraft systems operators and pilots and also to enable unmanned aircraft traffic management functions so these are discussed during drones innovators network summit which was held in october 2019 under ministry of civil aviation so that time these are discussed and version 2.0 is also released so introduced so remotely piloted aircraft system or we should be embedded with encrypted firmware by the manufacturer they have to receive permissions each time before take off through digisky portal and no drone zones are also to be geo fenced into digital platform in order to avoid threatening to security so npnt so that npnt code will make the return to home function in the drone so npnt is nothing but it is a software program it will enable every remotely piloted aircraft system except the nano crafts to obtain a valid permission through the digisky platform so make note of this term every npas except a nano they may confuse it with these uh, words so npnt code will activate return to home function if the drone is seen in the no drone zone area so the drone will deactivates from its path or enters a no drone area will automatically return to the home so npnt code will be activated in that area also to remember this uh, recently tamil actor thala ajith has mentored iit madras students to design a model drone for spraying in for disinfectants over a large land area this has helped recently during covid 19 time 
okay just to remember this i have told this that's all so blue flag certification by the term blue flag itself you can remember this it is recording some recording to some water bodies so marine ecosystem so it comes under ministry of environment forest and climate change it is accorded by an international not for profit organization fee foundation for environment education which is based in denmark so it is based on 33 stringent criteria in four major hits so what are those four major hits environmental education and information bottling water quality in the beach side and environmental management conservation and uh, safety and services uh, to the people and what is the blue flag beach model means it is an eco tourism model in order to promote tourism through this so provide tourists and beach goers these uh, amenities like clean and hygiene bathing water facilities or amenities are nearby the beaches safe and healthy environment to, to promote tourism activities there attract tourists sustainable development of that area so 13 beaches have been selected for pilot projects so please remember this using map take a map or draw a small uh, version of india map and point these places so gokala beach in dayu shivrajpur in gujarat bogave in maharashtra badubitri in kasargod in karnataka kappad in kerala kovalam in tamil nadu eden beach in puducherry rushikonda in andhra pradesh meeramar in goa golden beach in odisha radhanagar in andaman nicobar and bangaram in lakshadweep by seeing bangaram word uh, don't uh assume that it is in andhra pradesh and all okay so remember these uh, frequently they may ask you okay so so already uh, asia's first beach has been given blue flag certification by fee so what is that beach is chandrabaga beach in odisha which is in puri district so at last thank you for watching subscribe to app ias channel so till then stay positive stay healthy be happy keep smiling country